everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I put together this really cute potted garden lady. So let's get to crafting. Alright, so I'm going to be starting with some terracotta pots. And to give you a size reference, these are 4 inches tall and they are 4 inches in diameter at the opening. And the small one is 2.5 inches, almost 2.5 inches tall. And also two and a half inches in diameter. So we're going to need two four inch pots and one two and a half inch diameter pot. All right, so I'm going to be using just one straw hat, but I've got two of them here because either one of them could work. And I just want to show you uh, so that you can decide what you want to use. The smaller one right here is four inches in diameter by one and a half inches in height. This one is six inches in diameter by two inches in height. So that gives you a reference and then you can decide which size you rather use. I'm going to be using some florals to decorate my little pot and I'm going to be using a little wreath. Now I happen to have this uh, little wreath here or it is a candle holder so you would place a candle right in here. So if you find something like that, that is perfectly useful. I also have some leftover uh, greenery here from a Dollar Tree stem. These here right now. <laughs> and then I also have these little pink flowers in a bush. This was also from the Dollar Tree. This I purchased, uh, I think it was a Joann's fabric a couple of years ago on clearance. So uh, you might want to look for a little wreath. And this is four and a half inches in diameter. Or you could use a styrofoam wreath if you want to use that instead. And then you could decorate it with your choice of flowers. Now, this one already has some flowers. I could use it just like that, but I feel like it comes out a little too much, these little sprigs here. So I'm actually going to remove the flowers and redo this. Just in case you only find the wreath separate and then flower separately, and then you'll know how to put it together. All right, so I just grabbed a few items that I can use to decorate my little pot. So here I've got some nautical rope. You can use some ribbon instead of a nautical rope. I've got some green moss, or you can use some Spanish moss. I also happen to have this little shovel in my collection. Uh, you can find things like this where they sell uh, all the little items for fairy gardens or maybe even in the dollhouse miniatures. I found this little wooden heart that happens to have this kind of a chalkboard finish on it and then I can write something there if I want. And a scrap of ribbon to create a little bow or use the same one that you use in place of this one. All right, so I decided that I want to paint my terracotta pots, so I'm going to be using a white, and I happen to be using a chalk paint. You don't have to use this. You can use any acrylic paint in any color that you want. I'm also going to be using a little bit of red for her little mouth. And I'm going to be using these little googly eyes on her face. You could just paint them on with your choice of uh, paint colors. All right, so I'll be using hot glue to put my little pots together. I'll also be using a couple of brushes, one for the white paint to get it on the pots. And then I'm going to need a fine brush here to paint the little mouth or if you want to paint the little eyes. I've got scissors and wire cutters ready also to use, so let's get to crafting. All right, so the first thing I want to do is paint my two larger pots. And like I said, I'm going to be using this white chalk paint, but you can use any acrylic paint in any color you want. All I'm going to do for this small pot, and I want to leave it in this color because I feel like it's a good skin tone, so that is up to you if you want to paint that. And I'm going to be using a little bit of red to do just a little tiny little hard mouth. Now this pot is going to be going upright like this, so I want to make sure that I have room for the two eyes and then I can do a little mouth down here. Alright, so these pots will be positioned one upright and one upside down, so I want to make sure that I know that this little edge here gets painted really well because it might show even if I glue them together. So let's paint that little edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then we can go ahead and start painting the brim and then work our way down. For this one, I want to make sure that I paint this whole top part as much as I can because this small pot will be race, resting on top of it, so I need this little edge to get painted. And then of course I'm going to do downward and then the brim like that.
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a good coat and then I'm going to let that dry. And if I need a second coat, I'll come back and do that. And then I'll let you know if I happen to need to do, to do a third coat. And then I'll also paint the little heart mouth on here. All right, so now that I've painted these two, and it took almost two coats of paint, and I say almost because the second one was just a very light coat. I like the way this chalk paint dries really quickly as well, and it seemed to not need necessarily two coats, but that is going to be up to you. All right, so now I'm gonna do the little mouth on my little tiny pot. You'll see two little dots there, and that's just because I decided that that's where I'm going to glue the two little googly eyes on, on my little pot, so this will be the little head. So I just want a little mouth, and you can do your little mouth in however you want, whatever shape you want. I'm going to do like a little heart like that, just because that's what I want to do. And if you don't want to do it in red, you can do it in pink. It's not perfect, but I'll fix it up a little bit, and <laughs> there it is, and it's a little crooked as well. But I'm happy with it. I might give it a little more detail, but that's just an idea of how to get that on there. Okay, so there's my little mouth. I decided to give her a little bit of a smile look. So I just did a little smiley face underneath it and came out the little edges there. So the little heart was uh, looks more like little lips. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a dot of glue here. And I'm using my hot glue. Putting a little eyeball on there, making sure the little eyeshadow part is on the top with the little lashes. And then the other one. Super simple. You can do this yourself. Paint it on there. Maybe if you find little eye stickers instead of uh, painting or using these little googly eyes. But there you go. There's your cute little face. All right, so now I'm going to take this pot, the one that I painted the little edge on the top here, and then this one that has this top part, and I'm going to put that one on top of that. Okay, so now I need to glue them, and this is why um, I said you can paint that little edge there, because when you put them together, you might... You know, see the little terracotta edge. Now, you're going to put something over to cover it, so it's not that big of a deal, but just in case you decide that you don't want to cover this with a ribbon or a little rope, then you can just paint it so that you don't see the little crack and then see the terracotta color underneath. All right, so just going to put some glue all the way around with my hot glue. You can use an E6000 or your super glue, your all-purpose uh, glues. Just make sure that it is good for you know, something like this, terracotta. This is going to be indoors. If I was going to put it outside, I would definitely use a different glue because the hot glue will uh, deteriorate and my pots will come apart outdoors. But this is a porous material, so it will absorb some of the paint, or rather some of the glue. All right, so that's just how I glued it together, and I'm not going to worry about it too much, uh, the little glue that are here, because I am going to cover that up, okay? But do a neater job if you're going to uh, let that show. All right, so at the very top, I'm going to glue her little head right about there. So now I need some glue for underneath here. This isn't a flat bottom, so I'm just putting it on the raised part of the little pot. Let's try to center it there. And there you go. <laughs> All right, so I've taken the candle ring, and I believe I may have said a candle holder, but it, I meant to say it's a candle ring. This already had some flowers on it, and that was its purpose. But just in case you don't find a candle ring that you like, you can, like I said in the beginning, you can use a little wreath like this or use a styrofoam uh, wreath, you know, the shape, and then you can just decorate it with little flowers, so just hot glue flowers all around it. So I'm going to take our pot, put it right inside, and we don't have to hot glue it to our pot in any way, but uh, just for the heck of it, I'm going to look for the nicer side, and I think this is the nicer side for the front, even though I'm going to put flowers all over it. And then I'm going to take my hot glue gun and just add a little bit of glue where I see that it's touching. And just add some glue in there. Again, you don't have to do this. You could just decorate it and then just set the pot right in there. But I want to decorate it with the pot already in there so that I don't put any branches going in there and they'll just be in the way, uh, even if it is a just a styrofoam uh, wreath. Uh, you want to make sure that your flowers are comfortably uh, where the... Uh, this pots can be taken in or out of it if you choose uh, to do it separate. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and glue it just a little bit. So hopefully when I lift this up, everything will come up. And it kind of is. It's just not dry yet. Okay? So now I can go ahead and start placing all my little flowers wherever I want. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, separate them after I pull them all out here. Or, and if you have them on a little bush, then go ahead and start cutting the little stem separately. Or just grab whatever leftover flowers that you happen to have in your collection. Let's pull them out and let's start decorating the bottom of our little pot. 
All right, so I'm gonna start off with, uh, my wreath happened to have these really long little grassy bits. So I'm gonna glue some of these in the back over here. So just a little bit of glue. Actually, I'm gonna trim this little stem on here just a little bit. There we go. We don't need it to be that big of a piece. So we're just gonna put some glue. And I've actually got my little pot on top of a little styrofoam mat here so that any glue that seeps, seeps through won't get stuck on my table. So I'm just poking that in the back. And then I've got another one. And I'm gonna cut the stem also as well. And I'll show you what I did in just a moment. So we'll take that, we'll turn her around and then put it right in there. See, the other one? So I'm gonna stick these big ones back here just to give her a little bit of a background right here. And then I'll just work my way and do shorter bits towards the front. All right, so now that I've put some of this greenery in the back, that's my little background, I'm gonna add some stuff in the front. And I wanna add some greenery in the front as well, but I wanna make sure that I don't cover these flowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and place these flowers. I'm just gonna trim the stems a little bit because this one has a lot of uh, twig and glue and that doesn't look very attractive. So I'm just gonna trim that off and add the flowers wherever I like. I'm gonna put these three yellow ones here in the front, or rather on the sides. And you don't have to make them like uh, uniform, but I'm kind of going to do that. One in each, you know, one in each side here because I've only got three, and then one in the center. But you can put all three on one side and just create like a little cluster of flowers going downward. You know, like make them taller this way and then going down a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to put this one right in the front here and just poking it in. That's why I'm trimming the stem because I don't need it to be that tall. So there we go, just like that. And then I'll take uh, these other flowers, which are a little bit taller, and I can actually add some taller bits on the sides here. And then I'll add some, and I'll cut them short and put them here in the front. And then I'll tuck in some little greenery bits in between. All right, so I've also put some of this uh, greenery that was in the uh, little uh, ring, the little candle ring. I've actually put some in the back here, but it's occurring to me that I didn't put my uh, rope across, around the pot here, the middle of the pot first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So all I'm gonna do is just get a piece of rope and glue it down here in the center and go all the way around. And I'll do that with my hot glue gun. Okay, so I'm just cutting a piece that goes around a little bit bigger than what I think I'll need of this rope and I'm going to start at the back just put some glue right where the joints are right here and we'll start gluing it all the way around Okay, so I'm coming to the end and I'm just trimming it so that end will meet right there and then just finish it off with some glue. All right, and there we go. I've put some rope all the way around it so I can continue adding more greenery. All right, so I have finished putting all the little flowers and then I have these little tiny little clusters and I've cut them up and I've glued them in there in different places. I had some yellow ones left over and I'm gonna use these for the hat. Now I've not put flowers in the back. I don't wanna waste them because this is pretty much gonna go on a little table and the table will be up against the wall. So we're not gonna see the back. This is not a centerpiece, okay? So there we go, just like that. And now I wanna put a hat on her and I have two choices. I have this uh, six inch diameter hat. Let's put this little guy a little forward so you can see the head here, right there, okay. So we have this six inch diameter hat, and then we have this, I believe it was four inches. 
and I do like the four inch. It rests really nicely right up on top of her head and she looks super cute. Now this other one is kind of big so it's going to fall over you know her face like that but I thought it would be cute if it was tilted like that a little bit. So what do you think? So there you go so that you can compare a two and a half inch diameter pot with a six inch hat or a four inch hat and then you can decide for yourselves. Now before I put the little hat on I do have some green moss right here and I am going to use that right here on her little forehead. So I'm just going to cut some little pieces. That's kind of like about so big. Add some glue and then just glue them onto her forehead. That's going to be the hair on her head and we want that to show like it's coming out from under the hat. Okay, so if I'm going to put this larger hat on her, I don't have to put any hair, any uh, moss or hair in the back as you can see right here. She looks super cute just like that because then we'll be hiding it, right? But if I was going to choose the smaller hat, and it looks really cute too. Then we want to go ahead and put moss all the way around. And if you wanted to put some a little bit lower, that is up to you. I think I am going to opt for the bigger hat only because I think it looks super cute. Of course they both do, but I really like the look of this one. So this is going to get glued and it's going to get glued right here. Now, if you wanted, you could cut a little piece of cardboard, the diameter of the top of this little pot, and glue it down so that then the hat has something more to rest on, all right? Okay, so I'm just going to glue this down a little bit better and then I'm going to put the hat on. Okay, so I put glue right up in the front edge there so that I can glue this part of the hat and tilt it a little bit, like so. And then I can turn around, and if I see it touching anywhere, I add some glue right in there, right at the back of that little head. There we go. And we'll let that dry. All right, so this is the top of the hat, and I'm looking at the back of the little uh, potted lady here. And you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to add some little leaves up here so that when we're looking at her from the front, they're kind of poking out from behind. Just like that and then I'll take these little clusters and glue them there as well and they'll show up a little bit you'll be able to see them from the top when you're looking at it from the front so I'll turn this around just so you can see how that's looking from the front see how you can barely see that but if you're looking at it you're standing and you can see the top of it you'll be able to see them there we go I'm gonna add a little bit more a longer piece right here sticking up a little bit higher and then I'll put some more of these little greenery uh, stems that I had and then cover that little the little stem part of it so we don't see that and there you go just glue them on there just like that and then from the front you can see the little flowers on her head it looks really cute okay so now we want to do something on her neck all right, so I actually have this other little piece here, this little purple stem, and I'm going to go ahead and just glue that on right here in the front, or actually the back of the hat, so it'll poke out through the front. Okay, so there we go. That's how it looks like peeking out through the front, the side here, the back, the top. There we go, just so you get an idea of what I did, and that's what she's looking like. Okay, so now let's do something around her little neck there. All right, so for her neck, I have this little... Uh, chalkboard a little heart you can use whatever you have whatever you want to decorate it with so anyway I has a little hole and I was able to write with a little chalk marker I just wrote garden on there it's not very dark but that's what I'm just going to do for now I'm going to run my little ribbon through it because it has a little hole if not I could just hot glue it the uh, folded part to the back I'm going to go ahead and knot this just so it doesn't move around on me just once and then I can tie it around her little neck I'm going to bring it to the front and I'm just going to kind of loosely uh, tie it on there. Not too tight because if I do that then it's going to go up like that and I don't want that. I want it to hang. So right about there is fine. And then I'll make a little bow. You can make a little knot and then bow. I'll just do this to kind of 
do this a little quicker. There we go. Cut the little ends so they look a little nicer. And I'm actually going to put a little bit of glue right here so that the little bow can kind of rest on that and not move on me. There we go. And I've got a little bit of these uh, little clusters here, so I'm just going to cut off the thick stem off of them. And then I'm just going to hot glue that, put them in there. Kind of coming from behind the sign as well there. And one more. And glue it right there. There we go. I have a couple of little sprigs of the greenery as well. I think I'll tuck it in underneath here somewhere. Wait, let's get it in there. There we go. And then another one coming down from under her little bow here. Just lift up a little bit here. Put it right under there. There we go. Cover it up with a ribbon so it's we don't see the little stem end there but there we go all right everyone i have finished my potted garden lady and i think she looks super cute and i hope that you thought it was super cute as well and that is a project that you're interested in and uh doing with your own version and your own taste so there we go i'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up and i hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and please leave a kind comment down below and let me know what you think of uh, this little craft and are you going to be trying it also you can follow my Trisha's creations on facebook and uh, you can also post your pictures of your crafts and uh, recipes if you'd like to share as well please make sure you subscribe by hitting that red button down below and then the notification bell it is really important that you do hit that because otherwise you won't be notified of my videos and i try to put up two videos every week i try to do a craft video and a recipe video so i hope that you're enjoying my channel thank you very much for watching please share on your social medias and as always enjoy